So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to throw the bolo punch. Different places to land the bolo punch. How to throw it with the lead hand. And how to fake to land other strikes. And that's all coming up in this video. Stay tuned. My name is Will Butler, and if you're new to this channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, and you like martial arts tutorials, you definitely want to consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you'd like me to make a video on a, a topic, let me know down in the comment section. But if you'd rather DM me, then just DM me on Instagram. You can find the link in the description below. So first of all, how to throw the bolo punch. Best way how to fight or how to practice it is obviously practice it in shadow boxing, practice it on the punch bag. Don't just try and fight automatically in a fight because it's very easy to get caught with the left hook because it can take quite a long time to throw this punch. So I'm going to show you how to throw this punch um, slowly, and that's how I practiced it. So if you're in your guard, you lift your lift your elbow up almost like you're doing a sort of chicken wing, and then you fling it round and up obviously that's a really exaggerated version of it, of it but as you get better you can tighten it up so once you get used to that motion that sort of whipping motion that's when you start flicking that arm and that's where you get the, the powering of the punch obviously it's an uppercut so you want to try and land it to the chin but you can also land it to the uh, to the stomach to win them. That's a really, really underestimated uh, strike. I think the uppercut to the stomach is very, very good. Very, 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 very good. And anyway, also off the lead hand, like I said, you can throw it. So you come round, you throw it up and into the body. So it's again, it's that whipping motion. So you just get practice doing that whipping motion. Till you get confident and then you can really whip it in quick as you can tell i almost missed that one then i just skimmed him so it definitely takes a lot of practice this punch before you risk throwing it in a fight because you can get countered right another thing you want to do is you want to try and set this punch up and off the rear hand best way to set up of course jab or even a double jab if you double jab boom and they don't often see it coming then you just whip it in another way you can land it off the lead hand is if you're throwing a lot of hooks and you're exaggerating the hooks as you twist your arm round they often think a hook's going to come and then that's when you can whip it in especially if they're putting their guard up like that, you can whip it in and catch underneath their guard so if you find a cut of hooks and then you can whip it in and under to catch them on the chin again if you've been say now you've thrown this punch a couple of times or you've thrown it in other fights so you're known for it like I said throwing it to the stomach if you're if you're fighting and you go like that and you see them tuck up really high that's when you can come in and strike them to the stomach win them and hopefully win the fight obviously as well there's no reason once you find your strike why right, you can't follow up with other strikes so don't just be boom and then that's it and now you can do if that's like the end of your combination if you found a couple of combinations and you want to get out but also, don't forget you can throw other combinations off of the bolo punch. Well, one more one. Why I love this punch for MMA. What I've really been trying to practice is catching someone as they're coming for the takedown. So if they've shot him for the takedown, it's good to obviously shoot back. But what you want to do is shoot back and catch them coming in. So as they've shot in like that, you shoot back and you can catch them. Or you can even try it 
is the lead up cut. But that's quite quite an advanced way of doing it. But again, if you shoot in and just say so you don't catch them, but they their body come into you, you've already sort of got under hooks where you come under if you don't the strike don't land correctly at least you're almost there in position to grab the underhook so yeah that's pretty much it for the bolo punch like i said just keep practicing it in your guard whipping that arm up whipping it round practice that whipping action and you can get really really good power off this strike Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all soon for the next video.